This eighth grader went to buy lunch with a $2 bill, but police suspected she'd committed a felony. When 15-year-old Dana Cyan Neal from Houston, Texas handed over money for her school lunch She never expected the day to turn out the way it did because this one simple action got Neal into some serious trouble The story began in 2015 at Houston's Krista McAuliffe Middle School part of the Fort Bend Independent School District ISD Neal then 13 lined up for her lunch like she did every day and when she got to the end of the line She pulled out a two dollar bill to pay for her food it was in fact the teenagers grandmother who had given Neil the money to cover the cost of the lunch However, the teenager was stopped in her tracks by staff manning the canteen till they wouldn't accept the money But why not? To her surprise Neil was told that the money was fake as she had no reason to believe that the bill wasn't legitimate The hungry teen couldn't understand the accusation Then what happened next is unbelievable not only was the teenager denied her lunch, but she was also hauled into questioning over the money According to Neil staff at her school gave the two dollar bill to the authorities Then they sent me to the police office a police officer said I could be in big trouble. She told ABC News in April of 2016 Subsequently school officials got Neil's grandmother involved Sharon K. Joseph received a phone call from staff asking if she'd given the money to her granddaughter She's never in trouble. So I was nervous going in there Joseph told ABC News the dispute over the small amount of money didn't go away and the investigation continued a Campus officer even went as far as tracking down the store that had originally given the bill to Neil's grandmother Meanwhile Neil was informed that she might be in for a third-degree felony charge for forgery So if successfully convicted the teenager faced a potential jail sentence of two to ten years for the crime after the officer had hunted down the convenience store from which the bill originated he continued to investigate even further Eventually the investigator tracked the money all the way back to the bank where he finally found the truth So what was the truth behind the supposedly forged two dollar bill? It wasn't fake at all So why all the fuss? What was it that had made Neil's accusers believe that the money was counterfeit? The problem was that the bill was from 1953 because it was so ancient the note was not compatible with the pen that the canteen worker used to distinguish between real and fake money Yes, it was this that started the frenzy in the first place only for Neil to ultimately be proven innocent So what happened next? Well, although Neil's grandmother was given back the two dollar bill. She didn't receive an apology for all the commotion and accusations Understandably then she was very angry at the way the situation was handled What riled her the most was that Neil had been taken out of school they pulled Dan Asaya out of lunch and she didn't eat lunch that day because they took her money She told ABC News Amazingly this case wasn't the only time kids at school have been accused of dealing in counterfeit money In fact between 2013 and 2014 eight separate investigations were carried out involving pupils at Fort Bend ISD a Recent incident involving a 13 year old boy from Texas went as far as an arrest like Neil he was suspected of using a fake bill in this case ten dollars to pay for his lunch But after an investigation it transpired that his bill was indeed fake The boy was a well-behaved student with good grades But he was still arrested and we arrived at school the following day police even handcuffed the then seventh grader and took him away in a patrol car Despite his parents trying to pay the school back for their son's mistake. He was later charged with third-degree felony Ironically, the boy was actually entitled to free school meals. His lawyer, Manny Nizami, told ABC News that the case hasn't gone to court just yet, but his client could face years in jail or prison. In the meantime, he's been attending a different school, even though he hasn't yet been proven guilty. While it's true that the boy was indeed carrying a counterfeit bill, you could argue that there's every possibility that the 13 year old wasn't aware that it was fake. Indeed, a lot of young kids don't handle bills very often and so may not be able to spot a fake one So these two separate cases beg the question of whether it's right to come down so heavily on children regarding counterfeit money Well, it's an important issue that needs to be addressed to many It seems unfair to disrupt a child's education over something that they may not even have done intentionally